All right, so on my chili lime fried chicken, I'm working with some chilies. I've got dried chilies here. All right, so I'm gonna let these kind of toast and get warm in my pan here. All right, so I've got my chicken out of the fridge. It's a whole chicken cut up, and I brined it in some water. Brining is something that you can do. It's kind of like a marinade, but it's just usually water, salt, and something else. I do sugar to kind of keep it a little sweet because we've got the chili lime thing going on. I also put some lime juice in there. Just soak it overnight. It helps it stay nice and moist. I'm going to get some limes because that's going to go into my chili lime fried chicken. Just the zest, though. All the essential oils, really, really good. All right, so I've got the rest of that in there. Just about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You don't want to use fresh garlic because we're frying here and it's just not good to fry. You get all brown and bitter. And then I'm just going to get in my chilies here, toasted really quick. They're going to be a little bit moist because the oil is coming to life. And then just a little pinch of salt, and I'm going to blitz. And that's it. Look at this. All right, so this is perfect. I'm gonna get this into my bowl and ready to coat my chicken. Oh, you can smell it now. All right, come on, babies. One whole chicken cut up. Well, you know, four people could eat this. I'm just gonna go ahead and massage the flavor into my chicken here. Two eggs in here. And then to this, I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk, kind of loosen up the eggs. And this is gonna be kind of like the mid station for the dredging as far as my uh, fried chicken goes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that just to season it up a bit. I like to season all around. Remember, my rub has a little bit of salt, the lime zest, my uh, chilies that I toasted up in there, and some garlic powder. And then I also am gonna put some salt in my dry part of the dredge, which is gonna be flour and my grandma's new favorite ingredient when she fries chicken, cornstarch. Who knew grandma was watching and learning? I just love it. I love my grandma. She makes the best cornbread. All right, so I've got some flour in here and then I've got some cornstarch. Now this is the new ingredient for my grandma, but I've been doing this for quite a while. It creates air bubbles. I learned this from a lot of Asian cooking and frying. It's usually just 100% cornstarch. Let me just put a little bit more. When it hits the heat, the pockets that it creates, creates what you really love about fried chicken, which is the crunch. All right, so here again, some salt, and maybe a little pinch of pepper as well. Now I've got uh, some oil in my pan over there that's getting nice to temperature, 360 degrees, but we wanna fry in the safety zone at 350, but the cool thing about 360, once you add in your first pieces of chicken, it'll kinda go down a few degrees, and it'll get you right to the zone that you wanna be in. All right, so first things first, into the flour corn start mixture. And then what I want to do is get it into my egg and milk mixture right here, and then right back into my bag. Let me get this out. Look at this. Ooh, wee. I'm going to get it right back into my bag with a nice little shake. Got a wing there. Some good stuff. And don't worry about the chilies. It's not super spicy, but it's got this great smoky undertone of chili flavor. All right, so. One last little shake, and then I'm gonna come over here and get them into my oil. Don't overcrowd the situation. Just shake it up and get it in. Shake it up like Rico Kasich. <laughs> oh, I'm showing my age. <laughs> All right, right into the oil. What we're going for here is 350 degrees. You don't wanna have it too high. It'll cook the outside first and then not the inside, and that'll make everybody sick at the game. Brined and juicy. It's coated in super crunchy dried chili breading with a drizzle of, yeah, honey. <laughs>